Welcome to the video guys. Today we're going to be having a look at this 400 watt Ibawa orbital sander. Um, the model is the ER0400 as you can see there. It's saying it's got anti-vibration. Um, cyclonic is to do with the dust extraction which can go into a little, um, it's a hard case I believe instead of a bag which I'm hoping will be a bit better because the bags are quite hard to empty sometimes. It's corded um, with a three meter cord by the looks of it. It's got variable speed. And it should come with three pads as it says here um obviously the, the little extraction where it's all going to and the little adapter um so mid-range budget this is then um obviously you've got your really basic like your McAllisters, which we do often have a look at little things like that or titan um but today we've gone a little bit more this was 60 pound so let's open it up as i say then a bit more a bit higher up, this is kind of like mid-level, I'd say. So nothing like your, uh, your Makitas, your DeWalt's. It's not up there, but I think it should be mid-range. So we'll see what we get in the bag. Well, in the box. Sorry, because it comes in a bag. In the box, as you can see. Nothing else in the box, though. So we'll get rid of that. It has got a nice little carry bag. Quite like that, to be fair. I think I'll end up cutting that string off because that's a bit of a pain. So I'll open it up then. We have got the boring bits. We've got some pads. Should have a quick look actually. Let's see if they're mixed or if they're all the same. It says we get three. We've got a 240, ooh, a 120 and a 60. So that's quite nice as a little start off just to get three different um, types of grip. We've got the dust little collection compartment here. Like I say, it is solid, which I think is better than the bag because the bags can be a right pain to try and empty. Um, hopefully this will actually collect something. Then we've got the adapter there. I think this is actually for if you if, like attach it to some sort of extraction system or your hoover um, I'm not likely to do that so I'll test it with this got the manual let's be honest Norm really looks at them and I've just noticed a um, mistake on my behalf sorry it's the ERO 400 not ER0 400 and then we've got the sander itself so then, first impressions, out the box, out the bag. It's got a nice weight to it. Um, it's got a nice look to it. We've got the variable speed wheel on the side. We can go from one, right up to max. Um, on the box, between 5,000 and 14,000. I don't know if that's RPM, rotations per minute. I could have that wrong, but it basically spins around that many times per minute. Um, obviously it will depend on what setting you've got it on there so let's attach a pad what we'll do we'll go in the middle for the 120 obviously it's not plugged in while I'm messing around doing this I'm trying to get this on camera for you guys so you can see it's hook and loops it's basically like velcro sort of thing so when we'll get this on line it up with the dots with the holes that's basically how um, the dust gets sucked through. So if you cover them up, it probably will do something, but not as much. If it, basically, if you have it like that, um, not as much dust to be able to suck through. So if we try and line them up as we can. And as you can hear, it is going on nice and easy. So that's on. Like that, we'll attach the collection compartment. Let's have another quick look at this. So we've got a little button at the back, push that and I'm sure then we can just tip it out. Well, we're hoping, because that would be nice and easy, um, instead of having to take it all to bits. Feels, feels quite strong and sturdy, it's got a nice click in when you give it a push. So I'm assuming we go this way round. No we don't, we go upside down. We've got this little... 
notch here that we're going to just push on. It's got a, a rubber seal as well there. I'm not sure if you can pick that up to make it nice and secure. Oh, right, that is very secure. I'm hoping this does work because I really don't plan on taking that off. I think I'll just pop it open, tip it out and carry on. I don't want to keep taking that on and off because that is nice and snug on there. So I think it's only fair now to give it a quick test. Like I said, we've gone for the 120. Um, going to put this down to three, so somewhere in the middle. And what I've done, got two bits of wood. Um, I'm not sure if you could pick it up, so obviously it's very rough on the top. I'm not sure if you could pick that up. If not, we've got a little painted piece here. Um, we'll see how quickly we can get that off. Just realised I didn't show you the on and off switch. It's located at the front, which has got two buttons, so we've got the off, which is now, and then the on. So that probably sounds a lot louder on camera. Um, personally, I thought that was going to be a lot louder than it is. It doesn't feel like it's vibrating too much in the air. We'll see if it's different once we get sanding. So we're going to get it on the piece of wood and get it turned on. So that already, it is a very rough looking piece of wood anyway. But that is actually really, compared to this, I don't actually want to rub my thumb along that because I will get splinters. But this is actually really smooth already after what a few seconds that was. I'll show you quickly now on the painted piece. Hopefully you'll be able to see like the effects a bit better. So we'll go again. Remember guys, we're only on actual uh, speed number three. So you can see it's starting to come off. You can start to see the um, the markings of the wood. So what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to turn it up and see if that gets it rid of it quicker. And then if not, I'll um, give you an example with a different grit um, disc on. So we're going on to Max now. <laughs> As you can see, we've got rid of a lot more paint. That is actually ridiculously smooth though. That's really nice. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna go onto a lower grip and see if we can actually get some more of this paint off. So bear with me. I'm gonna change it over, so I'm gonna unplug it. These should just come off. It's nice and secure. Jesus. So yeah, that is a uh, sticks on really well as you can see. Don't want to light down on there at the minute. Right, so we're jumping down to the 60 grip. Remembering to try and not cover them holes up. Make sure we're on nice and secure. I'm just trying to have a little look in the dust compound. Don't think that we've got too much in there at the minute. Right, I'm going to plug it back in. We're going to keep it on max just to see what it can do. So basically this is a low grip and we're on max power here. See, we have got rid of a lot more of that paint. We've got a few bits left still, but a bit longer doing that, and we'd soon have it off. 
um, it was quite, it was a few layers of paint, I think that was two or three layers of paint, so it's not done bad has it really, still ridiculously smooth, um, and there's not, it's not, it's really not left much dust on this surface to be honest, at all, um, I'm not sure, should we see if we can get any out, oh there you go, so I'm not sure if you can see that very well, All this here. So that's just after probably not even a minute of continuous um, sand in there. So it does collect it really well. Just a quick little bonus and it does even fit inside the bag with the uh, dust collection still on. I'm not sure if you can see that very well. Um, I didn't think of that when I said I was going to keep it on but it fits in nicely. Um, I've also picked up a few other packs of pads. I've got some more 120s. Uh, some 240 and some 40 so even more um, coarse than the 60s we used um, I've managed to fit these in the bag the ones that came with it so what I'm probably going to do is take a few out of each of these pop them in this bag all the way together close it up and keep it all safe overall then I'm um, pretty impressed with that I've not used an orbital sander before I'll be honest I'll hold my hands up um, that is very comfortable to use. It weren't vibrating that much, so even with the lower grit and it on the highest setting, it felt comfortable. I could happily do that for quite a while if you've got like big project to do. Um, as we saw, got rid of the paint quite easy. There was a lot on there, like I say, about three layers, and it's like a dark paint as well. But it is ridiculously smooth now compared to um, the other part. You can even just see the difference even through the camera, which surprises me. Um, and then. The dust collection worked better than I thought it would, to be honest. So very, very impressed with that. I know it was only, what, less than a minute total sanding time probably, but it collected a fair bit and there weren't much on the work surface itself. It'd probably work even better if you have some sort of extraction attached to it. So let me know what you think, guys, if you've got one yourself or if you're thinking of getting one. If it is this swage, you maybe. Like I said, I paid £60 on Screwfix and I'll pop the link in the description for you. Any questions though, pop it in the comments and I'll try my best to help. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.